Hi, this is Mitch King with the Daily Stock Picks newsletter, Sunday evening, November 9th. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. There's that last day on Friday. Had a nice little up day. We had some real nice stocks that rebounded upward from the report that we listed on Thursday night. Generally what I'm seeing here is I, I think we're going into a little bit of a no man's land for the next two or three days. I'm not totally convinced to buy long as a Friday and hold them for with the hope that we're going to go higher high than we did a few days ago. I think we're just going to go sideways to you know just pretty much flat and not go too far up and not too far down and I think the way to make money in this market is to have some intraday trades going. Let's take a look at some intraday trades that we we did on Friday. This is that drop telling you guys to look for and then that reversal. The stock was at 47, went as high as 49.50. So we got 5.5% on that as a profit potential from this bottom to that top. This is a three minute chart on Amazon. You can see the symbol in the upper left. You can barely see a white symbol, so you know where to look for it on this E Trade intraday chart. Now, if we open that up, you'll see the stochastics, the MACD. That will help support that that was a really nice bounce. I'll go through these fairly fast here. CNX had a real, this is console energy. From this bottom right here to this high is 10.2% potential profit there. So really excellent move on some of these. The financials like Bank America right here didn't do that well. Only made about 3%. Uh, Wells Fargo here made over 4 Apple Computer has had a pretty tough time lately. There's 96 to 99.5. So that had over a 4% swing there. The rim has been pretty dead overall for most of a week, but here it had a pretty big bounce here of 12.8% from this bottom right there. That's 40 under 47 as high as almost $50. So $3. That's 6.3%. Didn't sound right. Put in a few more symbols. Foundation coal, you'll see the same pattern. This is the drop and pop I talk about. Here's arch coal, same percentage. First solar, 8.4%. There's a $12 swing from bottom low to from the low to high. Google hardly did anything, about 3.3%. Three, 3 Actually, that's normally pretty good on a on a scalp, an intraday scalp. Here's a steel stock, MT. Had a nice move of 6.8%. U.S. Steel is about the same, 7.9%. Uh, Sino Petroleum, a Chinese Chinese oil company, 4.2%. WLT, Walter Industries, same thing. So what I'm saying, what I'm seeing is tomorrow is a little bit of an on the upside, a slightly positive move. I wouldn't get overly active, but just look for the intraday trades and that's what I'm seeing happening for probably the next couple days. If you're long stocks, I'd hang on to them. Uh, as far as an intermediate trade, I, th I think that uh, we're going to go quite a bit higher in the coming months, but it'll take some time. In the meantime, if you don't have any stocks, look for an intraday trades, sort of a smaller drop and a pop, but not quite the percentage profits that we had today. Guys, have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.